summer has finally arrived and it is coming in with a sizzle just in time for the holiday weekend. We're talking hot. A heat advisory is going to be in place for a majority of the Bay Area and some areas expecting days of triple digit temperatures. NBC Bears Pete Serratos joins us live from Concord where it's already starting to get a little warm there. Pete, it sounds fun to finally get some heat, but it also sounds like it could be problematic. Sure. Yeah, so much so that the deputy fire chief tells me they're actually adding extra crews for the weekend to handle any potential incidents. And that's why he's telling folks to take those preventative measures when dealing with this heat. It's not quite scorching here in Concord this afternoon, but with temps already in the 80s today, locals know the heat wave is coming and are planning accordingly. Hot. It's hot today already. It's already like 85 out here right now. So it's and you're in the shade. Right? And I'm in the shade. Yeah. yeah. Just finding shade when I'm outdoors. Um, when I'm inside, keeping the blinds closed. The National Weather Service is issuing a heat advisory for parts of the Bay Area starting tomorrow through Sunday. More inland parts of the region, such as Contra Costa County, could see temperatures above 100 degrees. Today, during a firework safety event at the Concord Pavilion, fire officials said it's important for folks to hydrate and avoid exposure to the heat as much as possible. Doing so will help fire crews attend to more pressing needs in what's expected to be a busy holiday weekend. We don't want our folks out doing rescues uh, when we have other emergencies to respond to. If we can stop, um, mitigate some of those emergencies uh, that were available for other emergencies. Over at the Lime Ridge open space, some folks are getting in a last minute hike before it's too warm to do so. Probably we'll just stay indoors, you know, when it gets hotter than this. So it and drink lots of water. Now, I did get a chance to speak to some county officials, and they tell me at least now they're not planning to open up any cooling centers. Of course, of course, they're going to continue to monitor con conditions and make any changes if needed. We're live here in Concord. Pete Serratos, NBC Barry News. All right, Pete, thank you. So like we've gone in years past, just be smart with all of this. Let's bring in our meteorologist, Rob Mayetta, with a preview of these hot temperatures. And, and it's going to get hot even in the city in certain spots. Yeah, and you, when you consider how cool things have been from late spring into the beginning of summer, this is going to be a bit of a shock to the system as we go through the next couple of days. San Jose, it's blue skies and 80s today, now down to 79 degrees. And earlier you heard our Pete Serratos out there in Contra Costa County up by Concord. They were about 94 earlier. Dublin was in the 90s within the last hour, now dropping down to 88 degrees and still the fog there near San Francisco. We do have temperatures mostly in the 60s, closer to San Francisco. Notice the temperature trend, the summer microclimates around 50s and 60s from Half Moon Bay to San Mateo, where that marine air is still reaching inland. But notice the big jump in temperatures today. Most places inland anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees warmer than the same time yesterday. So the heat advisory for all the inland areas and the coastal mountains that gets started at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning all the way into Sunday night. So three days of the heat advisory. Another thing we'll be watching closely is just how hot, dry and potentially windy it might get. Notice the humidity levels today, the red across the Sacramento Valley. But by Saturday now, Notice how we're beginning to see more red or very low humidity levels below 20% in the North Bay Hills and the Diablo range, along with the peak temperatures likely arriving on Saturday. That'll be our best chance for seeing temperatures above 100 degrees in those East Bay valleys and that elevated fire danger.